What's going on guys? My name is Ben and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and something that's long overdue. If you remember my videos of old, uh, around eight months ago I bought a stolen and crashed Ford Fiesta ST. And um, what I never actually did was reveal how much I bought the car for, how much I spent, and then the overall um, final sale value. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. As you can see, I have a very comprehensive and thorough uh, Excel document, um, which I've printed off. That goes into every single kind of cost. And I've also added this green column here, which is saving. So whenever there was a discount code or whenever I got um, discounted labor, I've put it in there so I can work out how much more it would have cost. Um, essentially, why did I buy a Fiesta ST? Now, when I was oh, around 17 or 18 years old, I was test driving, uh, at the time, very brand new, just come out, uh, a Ford Fiesta ST. I was test driving them, I was getting finance quotes on them, I specced one up, the one I specced up was white with the red Recaro seats, which looked very, very good. And um, at the time, for whatever reason, I just didn't go through with it. So it's a car I wanted to try even years later. Um, and I was quite influenced by other creators on YouTube, such as Goon Squad. They rebuild many cars and they are fantastic at what they do. I love their content. And as well, TJ Hunt, he rebuilt the uh, Ferrari 458 and made it into a GT3 car. So the process really fascinated me and it looked a lot of fun. Uh, I initially done it to um, make money however it did go about a grand over budget um, and I sold the car for a loss but I'll get on to that so I'm not going to go into absolutely everything because um, there's some miscellaneous pieces on here essentially so how much did I buy the car for so I bought the car from Copart and um, that's just like a salvage online auction site the car I bought for £4,750 not too bad then I was stung with 538 auction fees. No idea why it was so expensive, to be honest. And then to get the car delivered to my address uh, was 120 pounds, not too bad. Um, as the car was stolen as well, uh, I believe the thieves um, kind of cloned the keyless fob because there was no keys with the car, essentially. I got mates rates through uh, a friend of mine who works at Ford. He managed to get me a new fob for 100 pounds. And then this is where I start to save money. Um, I think I saved around £80 uh, over retail from that. Uh, I had another friend of mine code the key to my car. Now, according to a local locksmith that I uh, phoned up, this should have cost £120. However, my friend did it for me for 20 quid. Very good. So I saved £100 there. Um, all the body parts as well that I bought, I bought in the same colour. Thankfully, finding Fiestas in spirit blue. There's no, no shortage of them, essentially. Loads of people are breaking them. So rather than have front wings, bonnets, doors, things like that repainted, which would have been more expense, I bought them all in the same colour and they matched, of course, perfectly. So the first thing was the front wings. I had two of those at £100 on eBay and versus similar ones as I did negotiate a deal. Uh, I saved £30 essentially on those. Um, new drive shaft, tie rod, track rod end, wishbone, front bumper which again i paid 160 pounds for however it was a bit beaten up so i paid 120 pounds uh, essentially to have it re-sprayed now they didn't do the best job if i'm honest they actually had to do it twice as i wasn't happy with it um however you get what you pay for 120 pounds spray job isn't going to be the best however it didn't necessarily look too bad once i polished it up on the car so there we go. Uh, two new tyres. Uh, my friend Johnny used to have a uh, Fiesta ST, so he sold me his tyres, brand new essentially, for £30 for the pair. Again, that's £120 savings uh, versus the supplied price from Black Circles. They were Bridgestone tyres as well, if I remember correctly. Brake pads, brake discs, as you may have seen from the videos, I replaced those myself. And that's where I kind of learnt so much about the car I now know how to change discs and pads so that's very useful for the future and working on uh, cars that I have now. Um, mirror caps again they were smashed, indicator lenses again they were missing, new bonnet as mine was ever so slightly creased at the end £120 not bad, passenger wheel arch, drop links, intercooler that was a uh, surprising bill it was ever so slightly 
kind of split and uh, leaking. Um, so 20 pounds for that. Clutch and slave cylinder, again, another cost, which I did not um, take into a, uh, account. You know, the car had only done 28,000 miles, so I wasn't expecting them to have ruined a clutch as well. But due to my work and the uh, discounted labor rates I get via and free work, that only cost me 242 pounds, which is quite good. Uh, Bodywork paint, just some minor scrapes and scratches. Smart repair, 90 quid, was doing quite well. And uh, boot carpet, oil service, that's what I've done myself. New crash bar, that was about five mil out, so none of the front end would line up essentially. Uh, that was 35 pounds through Facebook Marketplace. Lower grills, fog lights, side skirt cover, you know where the kind of jack goes. Again, another small, but unexpected cost at 12 pounds. New door, that was 80 pounds. Again, I saved 120 pounds versus getting it repaired as the thieves had kind of, where the lock was, they'd just chiseled it away and it split the metal. So I'd saved 120 pounds not having that repaired, which is very, very good. Air deflector, a pointless kind of thing. You can't see that went underneath the bonnet, uh, the bumper rather. Uh, 20 quid, easy fuel system, steering rack. <laughs> 94 pounds, but that was a surcharge of 97. Uh, and then to advertise it on eBay. So if we go through the kind of saving column here in green, everything that has added up, overall I saved 1,070 pounds, but the overall finished cost, I didn't get the wheels done by the way, that was just more expense, cost me 7,509 pounds. Now that is, if I'm honest, about a grand over than the kind of predictions I had made before I bought the car. However, it could have been a lot worse. It could have cost me essentially eight and a half grand if I hadn't have had all the help that I had from friends and the discounts through this green, green column here. So once I'd finished the car, I did drive it for a little bit. Um, I drove it to Cafe and Machine and uh, just generally I had a lot of fun in the car. Like I wasn't expecting it to be as quick as it was as nimble and it was a very, very good car and I did debate keeping it. However, if you think I sold the car and then I bought a Porsche Boxster for similar money, then obviously I sold it. So the essentially I put it on eBay for 8,000 uh, pounds as a Cat N. No one was shifting, essentially no one was messaging me, but Eventually, I did get a final sale value for the car of £7,170. So that is around a £339 loss. However, like I said, it's something I've wanted to do for years. I had tremendous fun rebuilding it, learning new things with the car, and of course, uh, creating the content for you guys. And um, I'll go into this into a, a later video. Um, I essentially flipped another car after the fiesta went i bought another fiesta same um kind of shape it was a 14 plate 1.6 diesel and i sold that for 900 pound profit so that really does over overlay and kind of balance out the loss on this and i also made a little bit of money here and there on um, future cars that i'd bought and sold which again i'll go into in another video but yeah that is how much money it cost to rebuild a crashed Ford Fiesta ST. I had a lot of fun doing it. I could have spent more money, but luckily I saved a lot. And uh, yeah, not the outcome I was expecting, but doesn't matter. <laughs> I made my money back and I had so much fun. And the knowledge I have now from rebuilding the car is so much more valuable. But yeah, sorry that the video is about eight months late. Uh, quite a few people have, to this day have been asking, where is the final costs video? So. There you go. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you're going to attempt a project yourself, it's probably, depending on what kind of deals you get, it's probably not going to make you money, if I'm honest. But if I was to keep the car, then I would have had a seven and a half grand Ford Fiesta ST with new clutch, brand new service, things like that. It's essentially a brand new car for only seven and a half grand. But anyway, 
that's where I'm going to leave it there, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this little sit-down conversation that I've had with you. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so you do not miss out on any of my future upcoming content with my new-to-me E92 M3. Thank you very much once again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.